As pupils should have been heading in for lessons, instead this. Education is a human right. Protest at the gates of Berkeley Primary in East London. And at the centre of it all, an eight-year-old boy. It started in mid-November when Yahya, whose face we've been asked to hide, turned up with a Palestinian flag sewn onto his sleeve in solidarity with his mother's family in Gaza, many of whom they say have been killed by Israeli bombs. We received a phone call from the school that he was not allowed, he would not be um, allowed playtime. And at lunchtime, he was isolated from his year group. He was told um, he was not welcome back at school. Yaya's parents refused to remove the patch, so he stayed home for three weeks. On Wednesday, the school decided to break up two days early. Imagine an eight-year-old child was constantly bullied. Harassed, After videos were posted on TikTok calling for action, protesters have accused the school of double standards. When the Russia-Ukraine conflict started, the school had a massive Ukrainian um, flag outside the school. He is Palestinian and the badge is his cultural and religious identity. There's been anger too that a letter was sent to the parents of pupils who've worn Palestinian colours, warning that extremist or divisive comments could lead to referrals to the Prevent team, which is focused on stopping people becoming radicalised or supporting terrorism. In a statement, the school said it had closed early in the light of escalating threats against staff and the school based on factually inaccurate misunderstandings, falsehoods and malicious fabrications, adding that there was no evidence of bullying or misconduct. Yaya's father says his son is being denied an education and that he's been left traumatised and confused. Now the family's calling for an independent investigation and the resignation of the head. At Barclay Primary, lessons won't resume until January. But with both sides refusing to budge, it seems there's little chance the new year will bring any resolution. Emma Birchley, Sky News, East London.